Congratulations on the win. Uh, is there a weight lifted off your shoulders just getting such a monumental win like this against a former title challenger? Well, this was a, an amazing fight. When I was noticed that I could fight Carolina, I was very excited. And, you know, I trained very hard all this year, all the year, and also for this fight camp, I was training so hard for this. You talked about your discipline in the pre-fight with your diet and everything else. You said you felt a lot stronger. Did you notice that in the cage tonight that you were able to you know, use your strength in the fight? Definitely. You know, it's been like since January, since I, since I started training. Of course, I got injuries. I got like bad moments, but I always keep my, my mind forward, um, eating well, training hard, sleeping well, being disciplined, reading. You know, was always trying to be positive and, and just keep the journey, enjoy this moment. I think most people would say you made a statement tonight in this fight, uh, just with how dominant it was. Were you expecting it to be that dominant with your performance? Totally, you know, I, I work it so, so, so hard mentally and, and emotional, and of course my body, I work it for this. Were there any, any ever any doubts? You know, I know your UFC run, when it started, didn't probably go as you planned with some of the losses. Uh, was there ever any doubts in your career at all, or were you always confident you would get to this point? Of course, everybody, anyone likes to lose. When you lose, it's like you feel like, you know, the deepest sad and angry and anxious and anything. But um, this is the thing about mixed martial arts. They teach you a lot of life that even if when, when you are on the floor or, or you are in the toughest situation, you have to, to move forward. You know, you can't just keep like um, angry or sad or that. You have to move forward. If you want something, you just have to go forward and, and work, work hard for it. Your accuracy was, was wonderful tonight. It seemed like she was coming straight forward to you. Were you almost expecting her to play out how the fight did coming towards you the whole time? Yes, she's a very uh, explosive fighter. She always goes forward, so I was ready for that. Of course, we study our opponents, so I think my game plan was, was good for, for her. Are you surprised that she just kept coming forward despite you landing shot after shot and hurting her some? Oh, like I told you, she's she's tough opponent. All the fights she has uh, has been doing that. She always go forward, forward, and, and you have to be worried. You know, even when I was trying to go forward too, she always keep landing things on me. So I have to move all the time because she's she's dangerous. How how deep was that choke at the end of the fight? How deep what? Yeah, how close were you to getting that guillotine choke at the end of the fight? Uh, I think um, I don't know. I I, I wanted to try. Um, because she, she got me on the clinch, so I, I think I had that opportunity, so that's that's what life about, you know, take opportunities, so maybe it could have worked, maybe not, but I, I, I try it at least. Alexa, Spanish. Uh, Alexa, ¿podrías catalogar esta pelea como la mejor en tu carrera en el UFC? Totalmente, creo que es la pelea que más he disfrutado, la semana que más he disfrutado, a veces antes me ponía muy nerviosa, muy... Uh, me estresaba mucho por el campamento, por la dieta, por todo, pero esta vez lo disfruté como nunca, como si hubiera sido la primera pelea internacional que tuve, entonces dejé también mi teléfono, dejé, dejé todo, ¿sabes? Traté todo el tiempo de estar enfocada y funciona, funciona muchísimo disfrutar más las cosas. Yo también es sparring con puros hombres, <risa> con puros hombres es sparring con mi compañero Alessandro, con Gallito, que fueron los que más me ayudaron, con Omar, y sé, ellos en especial son los que más me ayudaron y estoy agradecida de todo corazón con ellos. También hice con Irene, que es una de las mejores strikers Bantamweight, entonces tengo, tengo un equipo increíble conmigo. Me habló mucho de estar prácticamente en casa con tanta visión polaca, pero no contaba que había tantos mexicanos aquí en Chicago, ¿no? Me da muchísimo gusto que podamos tener tantas personas internacionales apoyando los eventos de UFC. How do you, how do you plan on celebrating tonight after a big win like this? Well, I I want to take a shower, I want to eat some pizza because everybody said that pizza in Chicago is amazing, so I just want to, you know, hang out with my teammates and and you know, enjoy this moment. <laughs> At media day you said the last year was the best and worst year of your life. And you're excited to be more active after so many injuries. When are you looking to get? When are you looking to fight again? Uh, I wish UFC could add me to Mexico's card. Is there any name you want, or you just want to be on Mexico? I just want to be in Mexico, and, and like I said before, I want to be climbing in the rankings. So anybody up in the top ten division, I would love to be, and I will be ready to fight. What does it mean fighting for your country, especially with Andy Ruiz just getting that big victory? Oh, it feels amazing. You know, there's a lot of people in Mexico that can't 
come um, to the United States, so they will be very uh, also proud and happy to to be in an, in a huge event like UFC. And thank God, I, <laughs> there's a lot of people in Mexico that that loves me, that supports my career, and, and that's why it's important for me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.